All right, so today I'm gonna show you how I polish my American Forces. Um, they're forged, obviously, so same thing, especially forged, American Forest, fuel forged. Whatever forged wheels you have, you know, it's basically the same thing. They can be polished and, you know, sanded if they're horrible, or, um, you know, they can pretty much, you can pretty much fix anything with them. This wheel here has the worst water stains. So all this garbage on here, you know, that stuff won't come off with just soap and water. So I'm going to wash them up and then I'm gonna polish them. So when I wash these, I just use soap and water. I have soap on my mitt here, so I just go back and forth like this with the grain. Because when the wheel's clean, and it's not gonna show up on the GoPro, but when it's clean, you can see the grain of the wheel. Like it'll almost look like it's scratched. Like when I first got these, I was like, wow, I wonder if, you know, before they sold them to me, they, you know, wiped them down, they had dust on them or something, and they were scratched, but it's not. It's just the grain of the wheel. You can see it on the spokes too, with the naked eye. You're not probably gonna be able to see it on here, but. So whenever you wash these, just to con you know continue to go with the grain, same thing with the spokes. You know, the grain is going this way, same thing with the wheel, it spins this way, it doesn't go up and down. So that's key too when you polish your wheels too, that you wanna continue to go with the grain, even though it's annoying to go back and forth on this little piece, but that's the way of the grain. It, if you go up and down like this, it shows so much more if there's a little scratch versus if you go side to side and you know continue to go with the green. All right so I just got this thing backed in the garage here and I didn't wipe them down because I knew that I was going to have to re-wipe them down so I didn't dry them off so I know I have to re-wipe them down obviously before I polish them driving home from the car wash so you can see there's some serious watermarks on there a lot of that stuff's obviously going to come off with you know just some Windex and a rag here but the key is you obviously want to try to get as much stuff off of these things as possible so that when you Start polishing, you don't grind dirt or whatever into the aluminum and obviously make scratches worse or you know scratch it so bad that you have to actually sand the wheel down and then repolish it. You don't want to avoid that at all costs. So make sure you clean it as good as you possibly can. scratches right there there's tar on my wheel from my fingernail scratching it right those are scratches now all that buff right out so if you do have any scratches you know from wiping them down or anything like that all that stuff polishes right out so this here is the polish that I use you get it pretty much anywhere at O'Reilly's or you know whatever auto parts stores near your house this is what I use it seems to do really well uh, I used to use mothers but it's like too much of a, like a like a compound, I guess, like too gritty. Um, I don't want that. I want something that's a little more subtle than that. So I use this stuff and uh, works really good. So normally this stuff's a little bit thicker than this, but for some reason it's really runny. Probably because it sat in my truck all winter. But uh, forewarning, this stuff smells so bad, like ammonia, like the stuff that they would tell you to put on your mosquito bites when you were a kid and that little white tube that's what the stuff smells like um, I have to stir it with my finger so I'm putting this on with my finger which I normally do anyway but I like to get a good decent even coat on there and uh, you know I feel like it's easier to do with your finger <clears throat> instead of you know gobbering up a rag um, that makes it uh, you're wasting a good rag because you got to use you know a good high quality rag if you're going to do this with a rag instead of a polisher like I am. I use the rags from uh, Chemical Guys. I'll show you what it is here. This microfiber right here. Chemical Guys makes it. You can find them on Amazon. They're what I like about them. So like the inside you can see is like shorter, which I don't use because it to me it seems like it scratches it. So you, I use the real fluffy side. That's what I use before I got this polisher. That's what I use to polish my wheels because it was it's super, super soft with this. So that's the type of microfiber you want to use. Don't use 
a crappy one from O'Reilly's. You know, they got a pack of 20 of them for $10 or whatever it is. Those are garbage. Those, I bought a couple of sets of those and scratched a bunch of stuff on my truck. They're horrible. They're not soft. They will scratch your stuff. So don't use the O'Reilly Special. Make sure you get a good quality microfiber from Chemical Guys or, you know, whoever. You can find a few different brands on Amazon. That's just the one that I went with. But, um, yeah, so just put uh, a good, nice, even layer there on the wheel, and I'm gonna put a little bit on the pad and uh, see how she does. The other good thing about using your finger to put this on is like right here, there's like a little piece of tar that you know you wouldn't necessarily catch with a rag. You can, obviously, as you rub your finger, like here, there's another little piece of tar from the guys doing the road commission stuff, which Sends me right through the roof, especially having 14 wides. It slings it down the side of my truck and just makes a mess of everything. I mean, obviously, you, you know, you pay whatever you pay for your, you know, your wheels, whether they're 20s, 22s, 24s, whatever they are. You know, these forged wheels aren't cheap. And to get them covered in this garbage from the road commission, who's not doing their job properly, is extremely, extremely frustrating. So that's why I like to do with my finger. You know, even if you use a rubber glove or whatever, it, you know, you still can feel it, but. You know, just go over the whole thing to make sure that you can feel, you know, any tar or any garbage that's on here to make sure you're not, you know, rubbing it in once you get your rag or your polisher on your wheel. doing this you want to make sure you know you don't hold it in one spot too long because you can burn the metal you know, if you just sit there and hold the trigger wide open and you just hold it in one spot that's gonna burn the metal back and forth you know remember stay with the grain you don't want to go in and you know back and forth this way because the grain of the wheel goes this way so you want to make sure that you're going back and forth this way you know don't hold it in one spot too long because you know you'll, like I said you'll burn the metal so you know just keep a slow consistent speed and Make sure you know you've got enough polish on the wheel and on your pad, to where you're not just going just to raw metal and you know with no no polish or anything, because that polish still works as lubricant. So you want to make sure that you know you have a good layer all across your wheel and you're con you know continuously moving back and forth. So this is where a good microfiber comes into handy. So you want to be able to get this stuff off here without scratching it. Until it turns black, that's going to continue to happen, which is a good thing. That's what you want. When it turns black, you know that you're polishing. So you get a good majority of it off like that. still see garbage in it because obviously it's going to reflect off of the rest of the wheel. I mean you can see there polished and not polished just a difference in you know that little bit. See I can still see a little scratch. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but there's a little scratch right here a mark. That was a scratch. So it goes this way at least it's with the grain but can't leave that obviously so I'm gonna put a little bit more polish on there and try and get that the rest of the way out. So I put a little more polish on there and repolished the spot with the scratch and it came right out. So like I was saying before, you know, this is the same spot right here where I was, you know, scratching the 
or the um, tar off my wheel with my fingernail and it was scratching it, which is okay. I mean, all, all those scratches, they, they come right out, so you don't have to worry about that. This polisher though, this thing is making life so much easier than doing it by hand. I'm doing this in little sections, so I'm not trying to do half the wheel or a big chunk of the wheel all at once. You know, it's cold in here, it's only about 60 degrees in here, so that's making a good temperature for doing this. If it's summertime and it's 80 degrees out, then you're putting yourself at a higher risk for the polish drying and burning the metal when you polish it. So you want to try to stay away from that. You don't want to do it in the direct sun either because that's going to dry your polish out and you don't want that. You want to make sure everything is smooth and lubricated so that you're not burning the metal at all or you know potentially scratching it if the polish is dry. So, as you can see, like in the light, you can see there's, there's lines that go this way. That's the natural look of the metal. It, there's gonna be you know, lines that run this way. That's what I mean by staying with the grain. That's what you wanna look for. So this has enough polish and such in it to where you, know, you can give yourself a little bit of polish on each of these. thinking, oh, I'm going up and down. I said, go this way with it. You know, the thing's spinning this way. You know, it's spinning this way with the grain. So going up and down, I'm not hurting anything because it's still spinning faster to the right than I'm going up and down. So it's not hurting anything. And when you wipe these down, a lot of guys will say use a terry cloth, which is basically your normal washcloth, which is fine. I mean, that's, you can use that. I just, I don't have one, so I've just been using these microfibers, but the main focus is when you're, you know, if you use a terry cloth, you get most of this garbage off. So like you take the most of it off and then, but you want a good microfiber for when you're doing your last, you know, wipe down, because that's, you know, a terry cloth isn't going to put as good of a polish on it as, you know, one of these nice microfibers. So just keep that in mind. but these wheels used to be polished just like mine that's just what happens you know these wheels and tires were new back in 1988 something like that my dad built this truck so it's just crazy over over time how much they can you know fog up and stuff like that but they'll, they'll polish up new just like uh just like my forces would my dad's 78 bronco the built 460 she's a little rough she needs some tlc but no, that's what the summer's for. We're gonna try and redo this thing this year. 38 sedan. No 59 that's all. Now that we're out in the normal sunlight, you can see the wheel doesn't look nearly as bad as it did in there with that other light. It's hard to tell with that light. It, it shows everything, so that's why I use it to polish, but yeah, here in the normal sun, this thing was beautiful. I curved these and uh, all the way around to here you know it even got down to where the, the letters are uh, cut into it which is scary um, luckily you know it's not too bad I mean unless I put the camera right on it you know you can't really see it but um, you know from five feet away you can't tell but just be careful if you do decide to fix these yourself like I did I just used the air gun with a sander on it and 
you know, just slowly sanded the, the high parts off and then I did the rest of it by hand. I just, uh, you know, sandpaper by hand and just, you know, slowly, slowly went away at it and, uh, you know, you can polish it back out like I showed you, you know, just for my fingernail scratching it, you can polish that out. So this is the same thing. I, uh, I didn't hit it with the gun yet to polish it, you know, I still got to do this wheel, but, I mean, you can see it's still shiny, you can see GoPro. So, um, you can definitely polish it out and uh, fix the curb rash if you do end up hitting it, which is exactly what I love about these wheels. Yes, they're expensive, you know, some people think they're ridiculous, but if you had black wheels and you did that, you know, you're not fixing that. You have to take that to get repowder coated or repainted, you know, whatever it is, but these polish, you know, aluminum wheels they're so nice for that you know they scratch whatever problems you have with them you can always fix it and you know if you can't do it yourself I'm you know I'm sure American Force would take them back or Specialty Forge or whoever you have and fix them but I know my buddy had um, Specialty Forge wheels and they were 24 karat gold and he had to ship his back because um, he had a little curb and the gold color was their patent color so he had to send them back for them to fix them but they fixed them for him so um, that's what I love about these wheels. They're fixable. They're not trashed, you know, like that. I hit the little curb, but you can't see it from here. And most people can't even tell unless I point it out to them. A lot of guys think that these need to be polished all the time. They don't. Uh, I've had them for a year. I've polished them a few times. There was a car crew, so I polished them once for that. And when I first got them, I polished them because I was like, oh man, you know, I washed it once. I gotta go and polish them. But it's not the case. They don't need to be polished. You know, mine have watermarks on them right now, but if I just put a little Windex on there and wiped them off, it'd come right off. The back one that I did polish, I showed you guys, uh, had dog pee on it from my wonderful dog. So that's why I had to polish that one. But they don't need to be polished like people make it seem. They're not as much maintenance as people make them seem. Um, you know, I, I drive them on construction sites every day. Yeah, they get dirty, but they clean up. So if you're worried about the fact that you're gonna have to polish them all the time and they're a ton of work, they're not. Uh, especially if you buy this you know, gun that I got, you know, 200 bucks on Amazon, it's definitely worth it. If you're worried about polishing them or, you know, just to me, it makes it a lot easier to use that gun versus, you know, elbow grease and taking a lot of time to do it so I highly recommend getting that gun but if you like today's video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one peace